fellas, don't drink that coffee. You'd never guess. There was a fish in the percolator. Sorry. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to a very special finale episode of Fish in the Percolator. The most uh, special ending ever. <laughs> so this is episode 22 of Twin Peaks, Beyond Life and Death. This is the series finale. Of course, we will also be doing the movie and the extra features and everything as well. But for the TV show, this is the last one. I got nothing to add until we start this bad boy, so why don't we start it, So let's get started, all right? We're going to hit play in three, two, one, play. Boom, boom. Bird stack there. It's done for the final time. There you go. You're absolutely at the last time you'll see this intro. Unless, unless they do it in the film, but I don't know. I doubt it. I don't think they do. It's been it a seem, while. It would I, seem funny if the movie had an opening uh, credits, where it's the same thing. It's really a weird movie. Okay, fair enough. Twin Peaks, population, nothing after the end of this episode. Yeah, it's actually Dale loses his mind and just opens fire with a machine gun in the middle of uh, the Great I, Northern. I was expecting a poltergeist-esque uh, implosion of the town at the <laughs> end of this show. It's weird that they made that movie anyway. <laughs> well, I guess it's in the past. Fair I was going to say, the movie's a prequel, right? Half I mean, and half. Oh, okay. It's well, not just a prequel. Kind of, sort of. All right, I guess I'll... We will talk about that when that comes, I suppose. Yep. Hmm. Can't believe we're finally at the end, Meanie. It's almost, it's been a long road. Well, we started last July, and now we are like the first week in May. So. Yep. Yeah, seems about right. <gasps> Indeed. <gasps> Ray Wise. Ray Wise has made a comeback? We'll see. I bet you his spirit is lost in a lodge of some sort, but I guess we will see. We'll find out. Eric DeRay. Oh, for fuck's sake. A strong start. Lucy, now you're just reaching. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I'm glad that in the series finale, this finally reached a conclusion. I'm <laughs> furious gross. at their love. Yeah. That was gross, Andy. Ah, uh, poor Hawk. Did the chalkboard move yet? Why don't you go get the big idiot in the next room macking with his chick and see if he can figure it out again? Oh, it's by the fire. It's a quality game. <laughs> Look at the swagger of this guy. You know there's a psycho killer out, Pete. I wouldn't care. I'd still be mad if my uh, car was stolen. Yeah. Oh, you just flat out can read the future now. They called her. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? That's pretty fucking exact, Coop. See, now that's petty. Oh, 
That's kind of like fire. He's actually buried in Avalon. You are all wrong, but whatever. <laughs> Do my mental powers and dice you? <laughs> Fuck off, Pete. In Pete's defense, Wyndham Earl made a very convincing log lady. Yes. Not really. Some Deus Ex Machina going on here. Bottoms up there, Harry. Drink it, drink it, drink it. <laughs> it's bleached blood. Can't help but feel you guys are wasting valuable time here. But... There you go. Uh, she's she just made a complete recovery, huh? I haven't talked about her in a season and a half. It actually took me a minute to I'm like Ronette, Ronette, why do I know oh Easy there, Hawk. What's this about 12 rainbow trout? It's Pete's uh it's Pete's truck and they have 12 rainbow trout in the back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's not a sacrificial altar or anything. I love him. <laughs> Am I scary now? The trees have you. Not a bad little effect. That actually looks pretty good. Right? That That's actually pretty good. I am watching this on a 13-inch monitor, so maybe it looks better compacted, but that was, that was pretty damn decent. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Look at these fucking assholes. <laughs> Mm. 
Yes. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yeah. My only joy is that this can't like this can't go on because it's the last episode. So she just Fred Flintstone is basically my guess right now. Yep. They seem to be bleeding a lot from the head. They might want to go to a hospital. Well, this is inconvenient. But I was just doing my finger snap dance with my mistress. Tell that to all the poor wrestlers you crushed, Nadine. Smartest thing she's ever said. Really? <laughs> You're lying, aren't you? <laughs> well, as the only one in here who's supposedly under 18, I think you should be the only one forgiven about that, but whatever. No problem, Mike. It's a little weird. It's over, right? Like, we don't go back to whatever now? Like oh, it's we don't have time with... now. No. Good. Good. Hmm. Let's wrap up all the stories. Good. You haven't heard shit. Not helping, Dad. <laughs> I love a little muskrat on his pin. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Hey, you have a wife. That's right. Good question. Well, actually, I'm not. And that's where we leave them. Okay. That's it. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. We never know, huh? Nope. Ugh. Ben, possibly dead? Possibly. He was still twitching. He's not dead yet. Look, if this thing comes back, there's no way in hell if that guy's still alive, they're not bringing Ben Horn back. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you already have to lose some pretty good people due to uh, unfortunate circumstances in real mm. life. Well, that's <laughs> what happens when you wait 25 freaking years, but, you know. My car got stolen with my bass. Kept calling you for a ride. By the way, I don't care what anyone says. Season finale on, I'm doing impressions. Too bad. 
Okay. That's right. Calling out the internet right here. Especially Pete's, because Pete's too fun not to make fun of. I love Pete. It's got it's got twelve uh, rainbow bass. It sure does. We're on the right spot. Yep, that's the idiot mobile. <laughs> What's with all these pictures of Donna and Jack Justice Wheeler in here? I still say they pizza purr from mistaken pictures. Eh. Try to fight it. I'll let it happen. I dare you. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow the old man to have his fun. As long as he keeps him private. Get in there. <laughs> Stop shining that light on my fucking face. That really hurts my eyes. You're not a pure courage, Harry. These monsters will eat you. You stay here, Harry. I'm gonna rip him a new one. That's right. I'll just stand alone in the dark without a flashlight to find my way back to the car. Gun aimed recklessly, ready to fire at anything that moves. I really wish we'd brought two flashlights. Yeah, seriously. They only knew they were going into the fucking woods. That's why Hawk is the sheriff in the uh, new series. The sheriff got lost and died in the woods. You have to imagine without Hawk or Coop, the sheriff would just have been dead on, like, routine sheriff duties. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's one of them things that's not like it seems. I am Bob. Look, I'm not a very superstitious person, but even I know that's portal to fucking hell. I mean, come on. I don't know how I can tell that, considering they're all saplings and they're not budding, but whatever. Nah, Coop, that's just a hole in the ground. Where are them curtains? No, Sheriff Truman. If you look, it won't work. The fuck was that? R2-D2. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask questions. You know the answers to me. <laughs> Sheriff's like, I really got to lay off the sauce. It's like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. <laughs> picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. <laughs> oh, shit. Spirits are pretty classy. Just an excuse to play that song, huh? Mm. Yeah! There's no way this guy's still alive, right? Which guy? The, uh, the little guy. Well, he's not a person. No, I mean the actor. Like, because I would like to 
see him come back if they do a season three. Oh, this but... dude's definitely still alive. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he is. Okay, awesome. The last I saw him was in like a 1994 episode of the X Files. So should I know who this dude is? No. Okay. Just take this whole next part is going to be super weird as hell. We've been oh, waiting for this. Gotcha. Well, quite literal, if not creepy as shit. I wonder if they treat every mortal that crosses over into the lodge with a song. <laughs> Easy there, Coop. Are you whispering, Andy? <laughs> Why are you screaming there, Sheriff? Andy, we've been it's here cold, all night. Man. You're just know. offering. <laughs> now that it's freezing cold. <laughs> all right, Andy, just fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, here we go. Good Lord. Well, this is getting sexy. What the hell is she doing? So she's just following her dad and going bad shit crazy. Yep. Okay. How do you plan on drinking it? Your hands are now chained to a door. 
that it's, by the way, can still be opened. Oh, beautiful savings and loan. <laughs> Should have brought a book. <laughs> Feel proud of yourself there, Audrey. You think you've done something good today? Oh, yeah, nothing creepy about this. Gonna have to call the cops on you now. I also don't believe that old man opened up that vault door. It's probably easier than it looks. I'd hope so. Cause this guy is having trouble walking a straight line. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, God. Me neither. Okay, cool. I was wondering how that was going to be handled. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> that ended exactly how I wanted it to end. Yup, it's definitely a key. I like every character in this scene. It's pretty good. It's this. This is up there in the most ridiculous scenes uh, contest of this show. A true meeting of the minds in this scene. Sure have. You get nothing. Everybody's dead. Well, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Fantastic. Yep. All right. All right. I don't like that Audrey's dead and these two somehow survive. Should probably stop wearing that. Yeah. He did try to murder you. Ugh. 
Hey, look who's back. I don't even remember who she is. That's uh from the first episode. She worked there and she was late. And then she never popped up again. Do not even remember who she is. Well, she didn't do anything. Like she just appeared as another waitress in the uh, double R and then just kind of vanished. And she's German, apparently. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, meanwhile. How great is this last episode so far? Uh, it's pretty fucking whacked out. Did I? It's amazing. <laughs> it is. I mean, first of all, Jacoby's wearing a cape. <laughs> I, I like his accessorizing. Now, Lynch directed this one, right? Mm-hmm. You can absolutely tell. Because it's filled with quality. <laughs> Insanity is the word I'd choose. But... Crazy, I know. You get used to it. <laughs> it's kind of like watching the Twilight Zone in a marathon. By your third hour, you're fine. Not a question, a statement. Yes, I get it. I like coffee. So I guess the old man had a heart attack the other day. Yeah. <laughs>
Coop's like, yes, I figured that one out quite a few days ago, but okay. I don't know, Coop, you think this is smart? It's probably fine. <laughs> Why would you yep, try to drink it? <laughs> there is a brownie in my coffee cup. <laughs> You see, in here, he's, that's all he can do. He's reduced to turning coffee into viscous oil. Tea's done. Oh, fuck. It's like that PT game. God damn it. Just the wall. Just the wall. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I apologize for our abject silence during this scene, but this is the first time I'm seeing this, and this is messed up. I'm sure no one's upset at us shutting up through this scene. Well, they are listening to a commentary.
I'm out of here. I didn't care for that room at all. No, that room was by far the worst. Oh, I'm shot in the stomach again. This place is pretty harsh and telling you not to go the wrong way, ain't it? Come on, Koopa. Barely phased you the first time you got shot. Ugh. Sister, you got real ugly. Well, damn. That was abrupt.
Oh, wow. She got messed up. Yep. She got super messed up. Yes, indeed. So Coop's back. Or is he? Or is he the Zavulganger? Truly looked like there was a struggle for supremacy of Coop's body there, in a metaphorical sense. And since he's walking with evil intent right now, I'm going to guess Coop either did not come back or brought something back with him. We'll find out. I bet you is Bob in the mirror. Hey, toothpaste. Hates. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I was right. I am inside you. Well, goddamn. What a way to end it. And that is where we leave you. Forever! And boy, how about if you're watching this on the PlayStation version of uh, Netflix? I don't know how it is on different versions, but they sure show that exact scene as the thumbnail image for the show. Oh, I didn't see that because I'm watching the uh, browser version on my I'm, laptop. Go check it on PlayStation later. It's like... <laughs> what a rip. I mean, Jesus it's, Christ. It's, it's Dale with his head all bloody, like, staring into the mirror. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, you've got to be kidding me. But Is Bob actually there? It's no, it's just the head. Like, it, it's yeah. it, it's just his bleeding head, like, facing the mirror. Like, at the nice. exact moment, he's bashing it in. It's really like, are you joking? Oh, that's terrible. All right, more of that to come on the podcast, guys. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. We'll catch you later uh, on Pure Filler. I am Scott Meany. I'm Matt Chorney. See you on the show. See you.